Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKayar and welcome to my channel. I'm going to voice over the beginning here because this particular pour was midway through a bunch of trials I was doing and I was initially going to share with you guys all the trials I was doing but it's just going to get way too complicated so I'm just going to share with you this one particular creation and I will get into it right now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm putting the silver in the middle because it's my only metallic and I think the metallic affected the way the cells worked. So I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to have my ends with both um, regular uh, regular paints. Uh, this is Amsterdam Sky Blue Light, which is a opaque. And then my last color is my Payne's Gray combination, which is these two one of which is opaque and the other that's transparent. So it kind of makes it a semi-transparent uh, paint. I want to see how this is going to have a difference on things. And I'm using my Australian Floatrol Cell Activator. So I'll call out the colors as I go. I'm speeding through laying down the pillow this time. This is my Multi-Pro. 47-3110. Oh. Give a spin. I'm going to try to blow it out the same way as I blew out the other two, which is kind of using the Shelly Art just blasty blow technique. <laughs> and let's give it a go. So this is a sky blue light. And I'm just curious. And I'm going to make these anyway. These will sell. I'm not worried about that. I just, I'm doing this as, as just curiosity. You have to have a healthy level of curiosity. You uh, always need to be curious. Curiosity leads you to find discoveries. Seriously. I'm gonna run out of paint. I wanna make a Lazy Susan out of this color combination. But I won't be doing that today. Plus I've got resining to do. So that was the Aqua Green by Artist Loft. This is my silver combination, which is Deco Art Silver combined with Golden's Iridescent Silver. So it's probably a semi-transparent color because the golden's iridescent is transparent. This is my Payne's gray combination. I'm sorry, this is my Prussian blue. It is thick. I keep sl glopping it on there. That was a Prussian Blue by Arteza, and this is the Payne's Gray combination with Golden and Arteza. So the next CD I'm going to make is going to be the opposite direction, putting this color down first. So my intention has changed between the creation of the video and the editing of the video, so I'm only going to be showing you this particular creation. I always find it very interesting how things, you do one thing differently and what difference it creates. All right, here we go. Cell activator. Shelly Art blowout. So if you follow me, I normally will blow through the center and then blow each of the ridges out. But this time I just went for one hefty blow and then gentle blows to push out the composition. This just illustrates there's not just one way to blow it out. You just have to find the way that works for you. All right. So here I'm just making sure that all the sides are covered with the pillow. Okay, I like this. And also, here's another thing. Uh, since I am going to be doing a Lazy Susan out of this color combination, I get to see two more sequences to decide what I want to do <laughs> for the Lazy Susan. All right, let me just center this up a little bit. This is really, really nice. Oh, this one's really nice. Oh, 
Here we go. Woo! Way off center. Let's get this thing centered first. I don't know which way to go. That's not right. Well, oh, there we go. If you put your fingers underneath, you kind of can use your fingers as like a measuring measuring device. You feel how far away it is from each finger. Kind of gives you an idea. That's a little better. There we go. Bingo! Bullseye. That's about as centered as I'm gonna get it. Oh, this, I like this combination. And this is my intuitive way to go anyway. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. So if you've watched before, you know I skip out the cleanup portion and I'm gonna do that here too. Yeah, this is really good. I I like to learn. I like to learn by experimenting and seeing what we're going to get. Just tilt. So especially for the new people, I'm tilting to put the weight of the paint in that direction. So I as I spin, a little bit. hopefully the weight will continue You're to push off in that direction down. first. Oh, that's really pretty. looks almost like stained glass in there. Let's give it a little blow, a little encouragement. So I just want to blow some of the solid color off the edge and see what's underneath and spread out the paint a little bit. See all these white spots popping up when I blow? So for those that don't know, the white spots happen when there are air bubbles in the pillow and the air bubbles push up through the paints and that leaves the white spots from the pillow underneath. Oh, well, I gotta get to the edge. So I live with some white spots, I'll pop off camera. So I rarely ever stir my pillow paint and I still am getting bubbles and the bubbles leading to the white spots. And blowing on the paint or also torching it will really make it worse as far as the white spots go. And what I do to get rid of the white spots is just dunk them or just kiss them with the tip of the toothpick to try to make them disappear. might do it. So I think the next time I purchase pillow paint, I'm going to go for the old Glidden I used to use before. It's a little more expensive, but I'm not dealing with these white spots all the time. All right, I think that's done. I think we're done. I'll clean up my bottoms off camera. This is where we are. So when that's a wrap, here are the final resin results before I put a hole in the center. And here is the final assembled clock. If you wanna see how the clock is assembled, I have it in video 330. I'll link it above. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, consider subscribing, hitting the bell and all. 
That'll get you all of my latest art tutorials. A comment and thumbs up also would be appreciated, especially if you want to just say hello. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Upcoming, I will have a link to other clocks playlists, and I'll also include some clock samples so you can see other color combinations and results. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.